Hello there. This is basically part two of building my sales funnel. And I created the sales funnel itself, but now I have to link it to the virtual event that I'm setting up. So I am inside of my Zoom account currently, and I'm gonna go and click on meetings in the left-hand column. And I'm going to say schedule a meeting. And this is the power of manifestation. It's going to be oops, Thursday, the 11th. At 2 p.m. Make sure your time zone is correct, central time. I'm going to just check that real quick. So here it is, power of manifestation, 2 to 3, Thursday the 11th. Okay. Okay, so there we are. And what I want to do is I want to make registration required. So the one of the reasons why I like to do it this way is because a um, if you e even if you don't have a sales funnel you can literally use this to collect your your email addresses. B um, if you if you send them this link they're going to see the time and the day and everything all the information about the event when they go to that page. However, if you don't have this uh, clicked and it's just a live Zoom link, that means that when they click on it, it takes them to the Zoom meeting, but they don't actually get any information from it. So I like to set it up this way for virtual events. And then I also wanna say generate automatically so that it's not using my personal meeting, okay? You can do, you can do one of the security measures here. If I unclick that, it'll, It'll, it'll say that I need to use one of those, but I'm going to go ahead and click on waiting room. You can use passcode, uh, require authentication to join. I like the waiting room just because it gives me the control over when people join. If I do it that way, just the passcode, they can join at any time and I might not be ready to go. So I'd rather just allow them into the room. This one is a little bit more complicated they have to actually sign into Zoom, and I don't really like that. I think it's an inconvenience to the um, attendees, so I don't I don't usually use that. And I would like to have it so that um, so under other options, I'm going to show that. So I like to have click on mute participants upon entry. That may, that way you don't have people making random noises in the background while you're talking. And I also like to do automatically record meeting. And the reason why I do that is because I have, I have had uh, events before where I forgot to record. <laughs> so I would rather just default to recording. And if I don't need it later on down the road, I can always delete it, but I can never go back and record something that I missed. So I'd rather just do it that way. And I like to put it on the cloud. You can save it to your local computer if you want to. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else on here I need. Okay, I like to go ahead and make it so people can join the audio anyway, both. You can have the you can have this with the participants on or off. I'm gonna leave it on, just so there might be more people that are actually turning on their camera. Okay, and I believe that's everything I need. Let me check over this one more time. Everything looks good. You can even add a description here. So there's my URL. I'm going to copy that, paste that in, and now I'm going to, okay, so I'm just going to copy that and putting that in there. Okay, so there's my description. In fact, if I wanted to, I can actually go in and, and customize that a little bit more too. So I'm going to press save.
And now what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go into branding. I'm going to upload an image. And let's see. I can easily just do a, a screen grab. So I'll do print screen. So this doesn't have to be fancy. You can literally just take that and I'm going to save that to my desktop. Okay. So now I'm going to go in here. Whoops. Go upload. Let's see if the dimensions for this that I grabbed, I think, uh, let's see if that works. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That looks great. Okay. You can also upload a logo if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted that little image there. Okay. So now email settings. So this is going to send a confirmation email to the registrants. And this is the other reason why I like to set up a registration page as opposed to a live zoom link, because they're going to be emailed this confirmation when they register for this event, which will have the time, the date, the name of the event, and a link to join when we go live. So I really love that. Um, let's see. And then the registration, once people start registering, they're going to be in here. And then at that point you can go view and you can look at the registrations for this. Okay. So there, that's where you're all of your people are that you're go that are joining. Okay. So now let's go. So here's the registration link. <clears throat> so you can copy that if you wanted to. So I'll go in there. I'll go into the uh, page two of the website builder. And there is my thank you page. So now that I have this link, I am going to say, I'm going to add a section here and then go to home and then edit. And then I'm going to put this right here underneath that. I'm going to say, okay, so I'm just going to paste this, whoops, paste, control V, <laughs> paste this into a Word document for the time being, just because I'm going to keep that there. And, and now I'm going to go uh, log out of there. So now this is all set up and ready to go. Okay. So you can even add this to your calendar right then and there. Uh, just have access. So one thing you can do if you wanted to, if you wanted to do this instead of the other method I'm going to show you, you can literally just go on this page where Zoom is leading you to save it to your calendar and go more actions on the uh, upper right corner here and, and click publish event. Now it's going to create a, a link here that you can copy. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then close. And then it has the Zoom information right here. It has Latar Drug who's inviting you to this meeting, blah, 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 gives you all the information, okay? <clears throat> and it has the title. So it has basically everything that they would need. So now what you could do is you simply press save. And now I'm going to go into my Word document again. And this is the Google Calendar event link. So if you wanted to, you can go into your email uh, campaign that, that's like the follow-up sequence after they register. And you can put this, this into that, or you can create um, like a bit.ly link if you want to shorten that. And, uh, or you can just like have it be a hyperlink. So it doesn't, it's not this long, ugly string of texts. So there's ways to make that look prettier. Okay. So you can do it that way. And that's what I have been doing up until recently when I discovered calendar link and you can basically have a free account, which I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event. So now I'm kind of setting up the event information here again, <clears throat> which is fine. Oops. So I want to go, okay. So I'm going to go January, Thursday, the 11th. I'm going to go 
So this is going to be showing it in the military time. And so it's 14. And it's going to be one hour. And I want to location address. So now I want to go to my calendar. Go into there and then copy this. Join the meeting. Let's go join the meeting. Um, yeah, let's just copy that link for now. And then go switch to online event and the URL. There's the URL. Okay, so now when they see this on their calendar, they can click to join the live event. Okay, that's not the registration page now. That's actually joining live. Okay, so <clears throat> there's other things you can do in here, but I'm going to leave those alone for now because I really just wanted this, and here's why. They can now add it to their Google Calendar, or they can also add it to the Apple Calendar, Office 365, Outlook, iCal, MS Teams, or Yahoo. So before, I was only allowing people to use the Google Calendar link. So now anybody, any, any type of online calendar can, can accommodate this event, okay? So that's the advantage of using Calendar Link over the previous me method that I showed you. Do the same um, description that I did before. So blah, blah, blah. Just copy that again. Paste. Okay. And it even has it a little bit um, formatted. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save the event now. Single event. Now we have this link here. So now we can go copy. Actually, you know what? Um, that would be another way you could do it right there. See? Button. See, I'm still learning this platform myself. Button to landing page. So if you wanted to, you could literally just put that on this landing page that I was just showing you. Okay, so now preview. Okay, so now instead of putting this here, we could literally just put this button in there. Do, do, do. Um, let's go. Um, code snippet. So let's try this. Why not? So copy and then whoopsie. And then go in here to the code snippet and paste that in. Okay. Now it says add event to your calendar. So that's pretty sweet. You can actually put this on your thank you page instead of this. So either one of these would work. Okay. So I might actually start using that in the future because that's pretty sweet. Okay. Maybe I'll just uh, kind of move that to the bottom. And then in the event that somebody does not <laughs> go to the registration page, there is an alternate method here of getting them to make sure that they put it on their calendar. And the whole point of having it on your calendar, because the last thing you want is for, the last thing you want is to have like 200 registrants and then nobody shows up. Okay, so there we go. So now you have multiple means <laughs> of making sure that they that they are are getting that information on their calendar because you can either go to the uh, registration page, you can either go to the Facebook group, and inside of the Facebook group, I'm going to be putting updates so that people will be sure to join when we go live, and I'll also probably just stream stream it live in that Facebook group, and we have the e uh, event. Add the event to your calendar directly. Okay, so multiple me methods to make sure that they show up. That's the main point here. Now I'm going to go into my emails. So it's the megaphone on the left hand side, and then hover over that, click on email, and then under manifestation signups, I'm going to go into edit my first email. And remember this button if you were watching the first <laughs> video in this series. Uh, I left this blank because I was going to go in and add that Zoom link in, but instead of the Zoom link, I'm just going to put the add to um, add to calendar button. Okay, so here we go. So in this, I'm going to the button URL is going to be. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I just want the link. Okay. Just the link. Now we can put that in there. Boom. Okay. So now I'm going to say 
add event to your calendar. Be sure to add this event oops, to your calendar to receive notifications when we go live. You let's see the Zoom link will be on the calendar event. Is it, what do you call it? Calendar event? The, um, okay, so we can do it that way. And then I'm going to go to style and I'm going to go alignment and spacing and then click on center because I like that better. <coughs> Excuse me, and press OK. Okay, so there we are. Add event to your calendar. Be sure, whoopsie, there's a little typo there. Be sure to add this event to your calendar to receive notifications when we go live. The Zoom link will be on the calendar re event. Okay, and then press save. Now that I have, I'm going to refresh this page. Now that I have registered, I clicked on that link and I registered myself. So then when I go in here and view, there you'll see me. I signed up here, okay? So there you go. Any, any, any people that you want to make sure are going, you can add them in manually if you wanted to. So what you can do is you can go in here and um, you can actually go to this registration page and you can add multiple people to this. Okay. And then you can add them manually that way. So there's, there's more than one way to get them on here. And the main point is you want them to be receiving the confirmation email. They have the same meeting information in their inbox. Okay. Absolutely crucial that you have, you make it readily available and easy to find for them so that they can go and join you when you go live with your event. So that, I believe, is that. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.